Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for April the 13th, 2018. Watchman on the Wall, William from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I hope all of you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. And today I just wanted to share with you guys some encouragement. And uh, thank you guys for your patience and understanding in this time when, um, you know, so many things are happening at once in my life. But this is also a time when I feel the most strengthened in a weird way. I, I can't explain how my faith is more energized when I face health problems. Um, maybe it's because the Lord has gotten me through so many, well, every single health problem I've ever had. And this time, the last two health scares that I've had, I've had the Lord magnified and um, paramount in my mind and heart and fully confident in His deliverance through whatever I'm going through. And I think we can translate that to also waiting for the blessed hope. Um, I got to admit to you guys for... The last seven months or so, ever since September 23rd, I have been um, a little bit disappointed that things didn't go down the way that we all thought it would. And that's why I'm so against date setting, and I, I just, I hate it when people date set. It bothers me because it was like... Uh, like waiting for Christmas and getting kicked in the groin and then slapped in the face, you know. And it was our own fault for relying on man and not relying on the scriptures. And, you know, I believe we're in a season now where there was so much going on in 2017. Like there was one after the other after the other of things happening, all these signs and for me, I was a thousand percent convinced that it was in 2017. We understand now that God's timing is His timing, and we um, we know that it's an event that's going to happen when we least expect it, and we truly understand that no man knows the day or the hour, and, you know, that's also... Another reason why I think um, it really weeds out the ones who are truly on fire for the Lord and who, you know, um, aren't. And for me, I feel like my fire was a bonfire and then it's it's slowly gone down to like a pilot light level. But since this last health um, situation going on in my life, it's fired up again, not full bonfire, but I think the key to all of this is faith, and what I've learned in this particular thing, this situation with, uh, you know, diabetes, um, information is that my faith in the Lord getting me through this is 100%. Like, I absolutely know that I am going to be victorious in Him. And I was thinking to myself, why don't I have that same kind of confidence in knowing that, you know, or being super pumped like I was before about end time events and the rapture and, and things like that. And I feel that um, maybe part of me is is not doing something right or feeling, I feel like um, because things are happening the way, you know, that is going to be unexpected, I feel kind of sad about that. Um, I was really excited 
And I just realized that faith is the key to everything in this time. And it's it's not like it was a great revelation. I mean, we all understand that faith is what saves us through faith in Jesus' blood and his sacrifice. And, and, and our faith is counted for righteousness. And, you know... I, I totally believe there's different levels of of our faith and I believe the Lord is coming but I don't know when and it's like when I had that health scare I felt I felt like I know I'm getting through this very fast and it's almost like a different level of faith it's 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 like um I can't explain it. It's like, you know, in your heart and I believe in my heart that the Lord's coming soon. And the thing though, that hinders me at times is that I don't know if it's this month, this year in seven years in my lifetime. Like we can't know that. So my thing is, where do we where do we have our excitement level? You know, we should have extended joy. We should have, we should be expecting the Lord at any second and our joy should be extreme. But the truth of the matter is, is that we go through our days and we, you know, we have our lives and, and that, um, some days we don't have that extreme Christmas like childlike excitement that we should. And I'm just saying, speaking for myself, I'm not, I don't want to, uh, speak for any of you guys. I'm just trying to express my heart to you guys and be real. And I think what keeps me going is you guys and the fellowship that we have. And obviously, you know, uh, the scriptures and, and praying and, and drawing close to the Lord, but I feel sometimes, um, I know for myself, when I feel depressed or upset about things, I kind of draw back, and then I don't know um, how the Lord feels about that, and then I get depressed about that, and it's just such a weird cycle, but I just want to tell you guys, I want to encourage you guys that we got we got to stay faithful and and have our fires going as much as we can and you know we have to remember the good things and the things that the Lord has got us through and that's what I think of when I have a health problem and I get fired up like this is going to get dealt with and I have that that stone um solid confidence and faith and I want to have that for uh, the rapture in my lifetime. I want to feel that confidence and, and faith. And, you know, I go back to dreams that I have. And and uh, I remember, you know, that last dream with the video game. That one was, was really, really cool. And I've had other ones that were symbolic of rapture. But this one actually said the word rapture in in the game in the dream and so it um that excites me and we know that right now more than ever there's wars and rumors of wars russia preparing their people for nuclear fallout uh talking about kits and food and how to prepare food and you know I'm not gonna lie part of me is a little starting to get a little freaked out but i know my lord has told me to not worry about uh tomorrow to just worry about today and that he'll take care of us and so i'm not um i'm not going to be a prepper i know that um whatever the lord has in store for us he has a a plan and that's just how i'm looking at it and you know um that's the only thing i can do you know um I'm not a rich person, and so I, um, and another thing too, you know, I've said this before in another rapture watch, that uh, we are told to follow the rules of our country, and, and that uh, the Lord will judge us through our our nations, and 
that we have to follow the, the rules of the land. But if we're being told to take a microchip then by our government, the Lord, that's not the Lord's will that we get the mark of the beast. So I believe firmly that we have to be out of here before that happens in the grand illusion. And that's another point about uh, pre-tribulation that I will fiercely fight for um, until the day I die or get raptured. And uh, so we just got to, uh, we have to have as much faith as we can. And I, we have to be also honest with these ourselves. And, sh and when we share, I think for me, because, um, because I don't want to put on a Prozac smile and, and, uh, you know, sell you guys some baloney of how I'm feeling and everything. I want to be honest because I feel I, I just, I can't, I can't do this without being real and just pouring out my true feelings about, about this situation. And we're all going through our own battles. And so I have this book of promises and the Lord, you know, I just open up to uh, certain scriptures and today I opened up to page 181 and this scripture came out and it's so perfect and I wanted to share it with you guys. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto lively hope in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein you greatly rejoice through now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness, which is also depression, for manifold temptations, so many trials. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, that would be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen ye love, in whom though now ye see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls." So this scripture is absolutely perfect for us right now. It talks so much about our faith and that we are going through a time of much purifying and so much of our our daily walk is a is a struggle in faith, but we do have faith in Christ, and He is everything to us. He's all that we need, and He has taken everything on the cross. He bore our shame, pain, and whatever we're going through, we know that we can get through it, and that we have an inheritance an everlasting inheritance. And so I think this scripture specifically is going to push me through and keep me going in and to get the fire burning even hotter. You know, the word of God is so powerful. And to open up to this scripture today is perfect. And obviously it was preordained by the Lord so I just wanted to share that with you today. I also wanted to tell you guys that um, I have a lot of alone time at my house. My roommate's gone, and so I I can get a lot of work done. So I'm going to have part two of Jeremy's interview and the uh, event video finally going to have it out 
And uh, I'd like to apologize for the extended amount of time it took for me to uh, get to work on it. Um, it's hard for me to find time where I, I can record quietly for a long period of time. But also, emotionally, with things happening... Um, I tend to go in like a turtle into my shell when things are happening, especially to my loved ones like Lovey and stuff like that. And I don't like to um, uh, to share a lot at that time. I don't want to be a, a, a downer, but uh, like I said, I'm just here to share my heart, be as honest and true as possible, and and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this keep your faith going stay strong and try to have as much joy as possible and uh, if i don't see in the clouds tonight i'll have another message for you very soon peace be with you